Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Lebanon County Career and Technology Computer Networking Technology Open House. Hey, tonight we have parents and guardians and caregivers, potential students, and maybe some current students of the classroom. If you're interested, a copy of the presentation and classroom syllabus is available to you by request if you email me after this session. Also, please put questions in the chat or wait until the end of the presentation for your questions. My name is Daniel Giffen, and I have over 20 years of experience in IT and telecommunications. I graduated high school from Tolbahawken High School and Burke's Career and Technology Center in a small engine repair in 1995 went on to the Marine Corps. After I departed the Marine Corps, I worked overseas for Kellogg, Brown & Root, and Halliburton Corporation in such fun areas as Eastern Europe and Kosovo area, and also in Kuwait and Iraq in the Middle East. Stateside, I worked for a company called Sage Technology Solutions briefly. I worked the latter part of my years in Choice Communications in Myerstown, PA, and I'm a University of Phoenix graduate with a Bachelor's of Elementary Education and a bunch of certifications to go along with that, including computer repair and computer networking. I've had uh, longer experiences at Conrad Weiser, Northern Lebanon, and substitute teacher service going everywhere. And finally, I have a uh, certification from CompTIA, the ITF Plus certification. A lot of people ask, what is CTC or what is CTC about? And this is the bottom line. I want your student to be ready to work when they graduate here. All right, success is going to be dependent upon your student's uh, investment to learn the knowledge and skills in this classroom. All right, big vision for computer networking technology, all right? You need to be able to learn independently and cooperate in team environments. You need to be able to teach and learn from each other, all right? This is all being governed by the Pennsylvania Department of Education's task guidelines, uh, which you'll be provided with a task sheet when you start the class. If you are fulfilling your prerequisites on a regular basis, you will be in control of your learning path and you'll be invited to be the driver of your own education and pick out a focused IT or telecommunications career path to pursue, endeavor to research, and uh, you know, you need to be the, let me back up, you need to be the driver of, of that learning experience at that point because you, you will find yourself kind of getting off the exit of the core curriculum. So that's a possibility. You can look forward to that in your second year. All right, I'm also looking forward to uh, creating partnerships with local businesses to create opportunities for job shadowing and co-op employment. Um, even if you don't decide to join here, uh, you know, adults or students, you know, keep your eyes and ears open. We sure could use your help here to create opportunities for students that do join this classroom. All right, some program entrance recommendations. Uh, you should be reading at green, uh, grade level. <laughs> Uh, grade level. I could read my own writing even when it's typed. You should have you should have some good math skills. All right? You don't have to be a mathematician, but you should have a good command of math. And uh, we don't use a lot of math in here, but when we do talk about IP addressing and some other things that require measuring and uh, things like um, IT equipment installation, you need to have a pretty good command of of how to use a tape measure things of that nature. Um, again, being able to work independently or as a team, have some mechanical aptitude. Uh, you have some keyboarding experience or ability. You have familiarity with Microsoft Office. And um, you have some troubleshooting skills already in you. You know, And if you don't know it or not, if you just ask yourself, do you like puzzles? Do you like to explore things? Do you like to tear things apart? Possibly put them back together? Those are the kind of things that you need to have uh, kind of built in you that will make you more successful. Um, if, if you are not interested in, in exploring it, um, you know, there's some, definitely some different paths to take now that you're able to uh, do in IT and telecommunications, but it certainly is going to serve you well to have um, 
a curious mind. All right, expenses for computer networking. These are the things, uh, especially parents, that you need to be aware of that's going to be required for our class. It's uniforms, certifications, and tools. All right, you'll receive a letter in the summer that is a little more speci specific to the upfront cost of tools and certifications. But uh, if you have a moment, I'll just pause right here and you can take a screenshot of this. And, you know, this is giving you some of these numbers are very specific and some of them are estimates like their tools and stuff. But anyway, I'll be getting you a letter that says, hey, uh, a student needs to have these things on day one. Okay, I hope you got that screenshot. All right. While you're here in the class uh, or during the course of your two years in this program, at the end of the program, you will hopefully earn your NOCTI certification. NOCTI works out like this uh, slide explains right here. So. Again, if you would like to take a screenshot of that. Okay, next. Certifications. Certifications that, that um, you are prepared for and can be offered in, cla in class it include IC3, OSHA, and basically the whole CompTIA suite of things. Um, you can, you can take a look at CompTIA, ITF, and I believe Security Plus. You have to go um, to an outside center, and that is actually constantly changing right now as far as the requirements for whether you can test within your organization, at home, or at a certified testing center. So um, uh, last look, CompTIA, Network Plus, A Plus, uh, a few others, are you, you'll be well prepared for those certifications after two years of attendance here and learning and persevering and putting in uh, you know a hundred percent into learning the curriculum and practicing the skills here oh and I almost forgot Microsoft Office yes I can test in here we do not take Microsoft Office curriculum we, I mean we don't we don't have Microsoft branded curriculum per se but IC3 covers that so um, you could actually take either one I like to steer towards IC3 though because it's just a little clearer. All right, certifications are important because hiring companies seek them out. How do I tell whether or not this potential employee or this potential employee is the employee for me? Uh, one of those determining factors is definitely gonna be a certification. So if you're in this classroom, you should be endeavoring to seat for every certification that's being offered in class and even you know go above and beyond and take a certification even if it means finding uh, a not so local testing center there I don't know that Lebanon has any official testing centers for uh, for Pearson or Certiport but there is uh, there is a testing center in Harrisburg there's a testing center in Lancaster and they're not that as far away as you might think all right we use uh, National Geographic's learning Cengage MindTap curriculum. It is um, a an organized suite of curriculum, including an ebook, lab simulations, and virtual machine labs, which means these are live machines that students work in. We also use Technomedia's IC3 course so that students are kind of get a baseline learning on computers and Windows and especially Microsoft Office products and then digital literacy and internet citizenship and also we use typey.com to practice our typing skills it's just very important that students are able to type so that um, where that comes into play is as a student is learning to troubleshoot they need to be able to match their hands to the keyboard to their thought process <clears throat> curriculum pacing is broken out here like I mentioned earlier there are task clusters uh, in our task guidelines that students uh, must accomplish so there's a cluster that goes from 100 through 1100 and they're broken out here in eight marking periods that represent the eight marking periods that you would spend here at CTC 
In the classroom, we learn about Windows, Windows uh, operating system, the uh, ins and outs of Windows features, and how to basically, you know, some a little bit more than basic understanding of how to fine-tune Windows so that it works better for you. Um, we work with virtual machines and loading virtual machines, cloud computing. Uh, we work, again, we work with Microsoft Office products pretty closely for a few months. We, um, we learn about networking essentials such as IP addressing, subnetting, and VLANs. And network, computer, troubleshooting, troubleshooting, troubleshooting is a, a big thing that we want to do here. We want to learn how to be inquisitive and persevere and work through problems so that we can solve those problems for customers. So some of the things we do here more specifically is uh, data cable installation, termination, labeling, and testing. We, um, we install network equipment, then you know make it work, and uh, troubleshoot computer problems. We install peripherals too, like um, uh, like Miracast devices. We um, put, install software. We work with telecommunications equipment like um, voice over IP, camera systems, paging and sound, and integrate those systems as needed. So those are all things that we stress in, in this classroom. And by we, I mean myself and the students. Also, we host Skills USA competitions. It's a CTSO, and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. So, CTSO is Career and Technical Student Organizations. Second year students are automatically enrolled in Skills USA. The cost is covered by the classroom budget. Uh, Skills USA is a resource that students uh, can also put uh, that they were a member uh, of. Skills USA on their resume, but uh, basically what Skills USA does is it it manages and creates competitions for students to participate at the local, state, uh, regional, national levels, so that students um, you know not only taking these skills forward, like all right here's a skill, but applying them in a way that allows them to earn a gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal for doing a really good job at what they know. Also, students could become part of the National Technical Honor Society if they qualify with uh, the minimum requirements that are stated below. All right, if you have any questions, please contact me. Email me at dgiffin at lcctc.edu. Anytime, I'll get back to you. Give me a couple days. I might need a little bit of time to come up with some information or you know, just circle back, uh, but I'd be happy to help you out and uh, also talk to you more over the phone. If you need to, you can call the school at 717-273-8551 and ask for me, Dan Giffen, and I'll be glad to talk to you. You can see there's a picture over here of our classroom. And uh, we have uh, student workstations, we have computers. And one thing that I've discovered is that learning is messy. So um, you might think, well, this shouldn't be, this, this classroom started out very well organized, but as time goes on, you unfold more and more projects and it becomes uh, more what you see right now. This is kind of interesting because if we were doing our open house at the beginning of the year, you'd probably see a cleaner, you know, right and tight atmosphere. And now uh, you see that students have all kinds of things happening all over the place. And there's just not enough time in the day to say, like, clean up, put it away neat and tidy, and, you know, start again in the morning. We do a little of that. We have to, but, you know, there's just things that kind of stay in place statically until it's finished. Uh, again, if you have questions, please, uh, in the chat, Tell me your name, your school district, what you'd like to know about the classroom. If for some reason I run out of time, uh, make sure and include your email address, and I'll be glad to get back to you. All right, hope to see you next fall.